Hey, my name is Matt. This is Ranking Tactics, and I got one question for you. What would you think if there was a way to completely, uniquely rewrite competitors' content? You go out to the competitor, you pull in some content, you paste it into your AI tool, and it rewrites it completely 100% unique. Would that be pretty interesting? Let me show you exactly how to do that with this new template in Phrase called Paragraphs from Background. So you're gonna open up Phrase, you'll click AI Write, you'll go into a document, you'll click AI Write, you'll click Community, and you can find all my templates by typing in RT in brackets. We have 26 of them now. And the one we're looking for is called Paragraphs from Background. You'll find it down here, Paragraphs from Background. Now this is just version 1.0, and the output I'm getting from it is incredible. So you can expect this to improve over time, but just version 1.0, incredible output. But I got to explain the use cases because otherwise you're not gonna grasp how powerful this thing really is. So like most of my templates, we have our high level concept, which is usually our H1, our sub concept, which is usually our H2, and we have some background knowledge. Now this is the stuff that you're not gonna type in by hand. This is stuff you're gonna just paste in from a competitor, paste in from the internet. And the AI will use that to then write about the sub concept. So we're gonna use a couple of different examples. I wanna show you the different use cases. We're going to talk about this product on Amazon, a Karcher twin walk behind outdoor hand push sweeper. We're gonna have the AI talk about this Just Smarty interactive alphabet wall chart for toddlers. We're gonna to have it talking about how to care for an older rabbit. The Urban Homestead website, there's a website here with some lady's bio. We're gonna rewrite her bio. This is some stuff from Hrefs. What is topical authority and how to build it, how to promote your blog. And then finally, we have something from the Library of Congress. There's an upcoming Halloween event. We're just gonna rewrite the entire article, all using this template. So let's get started. So this is Karcher, Twin Walk Behind Outdoor Push Sweeper. This is the web page for it right here. And what I actually did, I scrolled down and just pulled in this product description right here. So I just pulled all that in and I pasted it right here. Now what we're gonna do, this is really interesting. We're gonna do three different generations four different use cases using this same background. I'll show you what I mean. So let's take the H1, our high level concept. This is the product name here. And we're gonna take our H2. This is our sub concept, our thoughts on the Karcher walk behind sweeper. So this is like, we're, we want the AI to write it as like a product review almost, like what we thought about using it. And then we're gonna take exactly what we cut from Amazon and paste it into this background section, run the template. All right, so here's what we got. Now, what I want you to do, I want you, I don't wanna read each one of these because then the video is gonna just take forever. I want you to pause the video right here and actually read this and then compare it to the original. Now, there might be some things that are introduced in here which are not completely accurate. Like it might introduce a price in here. You can slightly tweak that. So this isn't like my write a product recommendation template where you're gonna virtually never get fake facts. Here you might get a couple, but it's gonna be very easy to edit. But the majority of the time it's gonna be spot on, right on point. So pause the video right here if you want to and compare the output to the input, okay? And if you, and just talking about this for a second, we've, the AI has written this in a way, like we've had our hands on the Karcher twin walk behind floor sweeper for quite a while now. We were impressed with the power we also liked. Overall, we thought this is great, this is like, now, I've never used the product before, so this would technically be a lie if I were to use it on my website. But if you wanted to use this somehow, or you bought the product and you wanted to just give your thoughts, this is a great way to do that, super easy. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tweak this. We're gonna tweak our H2. We had our, our thoughts on the walk behind sweeper. Now we're gonna tweak it to the Karcher walk behind sweeper is great for cleaning leaves off your lawn. So leaving everything else the same, but now we're gonna switch up the H2 and watch what we get. All right, this walk behind sweeper is great for cleaning leaves off your lawn. It's compact enough to fit in most garages and sheds. So you can actually tweak the direction of the output based on what H2 you're specifying. So up here, it was just our thoughts. And down here, it's okay, let's get, them all, get the leaves off your lawn. Let's do one more generation. All right, so this is great too. This walk behind sweeper is great for cleaning leaves off your lawn. It's very easy to use and does a nice job of getting rid of leaves. It's not only great for removing leaves, but also great for cleaning up dirt and debris. And it starts talking about the different things in here. So it's rewritten the things a little bit. Overall, this is a great option for anyone who wants to keep their yard clean without having to worry about using electricity. So again, we've directed the output now. I'll just, if you wanna pause the video here and compare the output to the input, you can go ahead and do that. And now we'll do our final tweak of this. So we're gonna tweak this now to directing it towards writing about this being a great idea for a Father's Day gift. So we've just tweaked the, uh, the, the H2. 
All right, this walk-behind floor sweeper is great for dad's day. It's compact, lightweight, plus it's got everything he needs to keep his floors clean. Dads usually don't spend a lot of time cleaning their homes, but if they do, this is the perfect gift for him. He'll appreciate the extra effort you've put into picking out a gift that he really wants. And it goes on and on about the dad, and but then also using the concepts from this, this input. So if you wanna pause the video here and compare, you can. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this next product. So this is our just smarty interactive wall chart for toddlers. One more thing to buy for your home that will just take up space, right? <laughs> All right, so this is, we're gonna do the R thoughts again. Now here, this particular one did not have a product description down here, okay? There was no product, so you know, what do we do? I just yanked these bullet points. Just take these bullet points, they're right here. Just gonna take these bullet points, put them right into the background section. So they're right into the background right there. No problem, our template can handle it. Run template. We've really, we were really impressed with the Just Smarty Interactive ABC wall chart for toddlers. We think it's a great way to teach young children the alphabet, words, numbers, and spelling. It's intuitively fun and engaging. This interactive chart comes with nine popular children's songs, and it actually does, so it's using stuff from here. If you look over here, sing along and dance to nine popular children's songs. It's trying its best not to make up stuff and just use the actual facts that you supplied. There are five activities to build core skills. You don't have to worry about cleaning up after playtime. It comes with a convenient hook where your toddler can easily reach. Awesome, this is really, and it says, it's great, a great learning toy for toddlers ages one to three years old. That's what it says up here. So it's taking stuff right from our input and rewording it into something really nice, really easy to do. If you have an affiliate site, this could be gold for you. But let's change this up now. So this is for children, it's not for pets, but what if? We had the AI write about this being great for pets. The AI can even do that. All right, check this out. This is really cool. This interactive chart is great for pets. It helps teach your dog or cat the alphabet, words, and spelling. Does it really? You know what? There's really no other way you could phrase this if you wanted to say that this is great for pets. So I think the AI is doing an incredible job right here. It's intuitively fun and engaging. It doesn't require any mess or cleaning up afterwards. Your pet will enjoy exploring the colorful, attractive design of this interactive alphabet wall chart. It's a great way to keep your pet entertained during nap time. And let's see what else we have. You'll find yourself playing with your pet more often once you start teaching him or her the alphabet, words, spelling, and counting. What do you think? Do you have any questions? Let me know in the comments below. I don't even have words for how amazing that is. That's absolutely mind blowing. Think of all the different ways you could just tweak the output just changing up some words in this subconcept right here. Mind blowing. You could even, if you have, a, like if you do affiliate marketing or you have an e-commerce site, you could tweak all of your product descriptions for the season. So, you know, you change up, you have a particular description that switches up for the holidays, for Halloween, for Easter, for Christmas, for Independence Day, whatever you want. Switch them up for the holidays. You can do that with this template. It's amazing. All right, a couple more examples. So this is just a blog post. I pulled a little, a little bit from a blog post. This is, do older rabbits eat less? So we have some paragraphs in here, then we have some bullet points in here. The template can handle that, no problem. So it's talking about as they age, they're gonna eat less. However, you still need to provide like as much grass and hay as they need, offer fewer treats, keep its water bowl full, and then keep the water and the food in easy reach. Maybe a rabbit can't reach it. You'll find your rabbit will eat less as it ages, but that's okay. As long as it's getting enough nutrition, it won't suffer any ill effects. You should still provide plenty of fresh grasses and hay though. As your rabbit ages, it might empty its bowl more slowly. That's perfectly fine. Keep offering plenty of fresh grasses and it will adjust accordingly. Make sure that your rabbit stays well hydrated. Water bowl should be placed within easy reach. If your rabbit struggles to get access to the bowl, try placing it on a raised surface or adding a ramp. Keep food and water easy in sight. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Just paste this in. Go to a competitor, find their stuff, paste it in. Now, is that ethical? I don't know, that's up for you to decide, but this template will do it. Now, this is a bio, this is cool. I found out a website called the Urban Homestead website. There is this lady here, I can't pronounce her name. She had a really cool bio. So I'm just gonna paste this bio in and run template. All right, so we've rewritten it. Here's the output. Anais Dervais is a barefoot and dynamo who is passionate about food, wellness, and her music. Now that's like the same sentence right here, the first sentence, but then it changes it up. Her passion for cooking and healthy eating started started at a young age. She loves being outdoors and exploring nature. She's a hands-down advocate for sustainable living, sharing practical knowledge and teaching people of any age. So it's rewritten this bio. So you can use it for writing bios too or rewording bios if you really want to. Maybe 
you've written one, it doesn't really sound that good, or you just want some bullet points about yourself and the AI to come up with a nice sounding bio, you can do that with this template. So this output here is from Ahrefs, and it's talking about how to build topical authority and how does topical authority work. <clears throat> so it talks in here about Google's Hummingbird algorithm in 2013, and now it's really important. Topical authority is a new ranking factor introduced by Google in 2013. It's a measure of how, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna read it all. You can pause the video and check it out, but you can use it for this too, more technical types of articles. This is another article, I believe, from Ahrefs. It's talking about sharing bare bones posts on Reddit to promote your blog. Reddit users love sharing helpful content. If you share, <laughs> That's amazing. It's like the Google helpful content right there. If you share a bare bones version, they'll still find value in your content. The strategy works well for any kind of content, including blogs, eBooks, infographics. You can even include a link to your website in the description box. There you go. So this last one's pretty cool. This is a library to host Halloween family day with authors, R.L. Stein and Mary Pope Osborne. This is from the library of Congress. It's a blog post promoting this event. It's a Halloween extravaganza on October 22nd. It's quite a long blog post. This is a lot of content to be feeding the AI, but the AI, uh, I tried this off camera before and it worked fairly well. I was quite impressed with what I was getting. All right, there we go, let's try it. All right, as you can see, here's our input. It's, it's absolutely massive. Let's see what we get. Celebrating 30 years of goose, Goosebumps and Magic Treehouse series with authors. The Library of Congress will celebrate 30 years of best-selling series Goosebumps and Magic Treehouse with two events on October 22nd. The library will host a day of activities in the Thomas Jefferson Building featuring authors R.L. Stein and Mary Pope Osborne. Stein and Osborne are celebrating the 30th anniversary of writing together. At 2 p.m., Stein and Osborne will present a program in the Coolidge Auditorium. Let's see here. The day will feature a special program at 2 p.m. in the Coolidge Auditorium with the author. And if you don't like it, you can do another generation, generate a couple times and find the one that you really like. But this just shows you this template is capable of pulling facts from the article and pulling facts from a long amount of input. And the use cases are endless. So here's what I want. I want you to check this template out, see what you like. I wanna explore the different use cases. Go to the official phrase Facebook group for this and post your use cases. I wanna hear what's exciting, see what you're using this for, because this is really open-ended. It can do a lot of different things. Hope you like that. Let me see, if you don't have Phrase, Phrase is an awesome tool. We're just scratching the surface with this template. Check my other YouTube videos out. If you wanna get a subscription, in the description to this video, there's a, a link with a, a special code, Ranking Tactics. Type that in on checkout. You can try this thing out. Uh, it's only like a dollar to try for five days. Definitely check it out. Also, if you wanna learn more about Phrase, if you wanna learn about how to use Phrase better, if you wanna learn about SEO, how SEO applies in Phrase, how to write your own AI templates, how to do just about anything, there's also a link in the description below to my course, Phrase Beginner to Master Course. Definitely check it out. There's a lot of value, a lot of value in there. Hope you liked the video. Can't wait to talk to you next time. See ya.